Game Shark and Toronto, Ontario, Canada. My name is Portal, and I'm from San Diego, California. My former name is Atheist, but and I'm from uh, San Francisco, or Bay Area. Uh, my name is Top at six six six, and I'm from New York. Gilligan, Virginia. I'm Lighter from Robo City. X from Miami, Florida. Dean, Oregon. Jadis from the Bay Area. Lucy and Lachance from New York. My former name is Artemis, and I'm from Irvine, California. B Gong, and I'm from Vancouver, BC. Iron Man 126 and Vancouver, British Columbia. Uh, Fafi7891, and I'm from here. Black Scorpion 22, Red Deer, Alberta. My form name is the BGBB. <laughs> and um, I'm coming in from Indiana. I am Rex123, and I'm from Sudbury, Ontario. XFFIXP. I'm from Tacoma, Washington. Veritas, uh, Irvine, California. So I'm the Greyhound, and I'm from London. I'm Javin Slaver. <laughs> I am HP1703 and I'm from Wisconsin. My form name is Slig and I'm from Miami, Florida. WTR Swims from Missouri. <laughs> Good enough for me and I'm from Michigan. Form name is Locke. This is my real name. From heaven. And, uh, heaven. <laughs> heaven. <laughs> and I'm from heaven. No, I'm from uh, Calgary, Alberta. That's up in Canada. The first episode of YouTube that I ever saw was introduced to me by Lighter and uh, Atheist, and they were reviewing uh, Zombies vs. Uh, plants. 86. 46? <laughs> Maybe. Say February 2007. Uh, episode 77, back at the beginning of uh, last year. Grand Theft Auto, I'm not sure the number. Sadly, it was episode uh, 55 with Cross. Remember, it was called Another Cock? Really? Somewhere in the 70s. Probably around episode uh, 30? Kind of it was around 83 or so. Episode 50, uh, the E3 special. Uh, last year's PAX video. Probably 45 ish, but I went back and watched all the other ones. I don't remember what the number was, but it was the God of War 2 review. Uh, episode 23. What? Featured on E3. Uh, I believe it was the first episode yes. that was on YouTube, so that would be episode 23. I'm pretty new to YouTube, but about two weeks ago I was introduced to uh, one of the episodes from PAX last year. 26-ish, it was episode 83, where they uh, talked about bullying. Maybe that was about last year. It was a PAX action. Last year PAX, that's what it was. I don't know the number, but it was for a Pokemon DS, a Pearl and Diamond. Back in August of 07. I believe it was episode 32. I think it was like 35, I don't know. I don't know, I'm so tired. Hooray! <laughs> Swag, we make. Yeah. 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 You know, it would just have to be yeah. We make? I would have to say yo. It's very useful. Uh, it's either Yob or Retard Brick. <laughs> retard Brick. That guy with the mustache is hilarious, right? Probably Yob. <laughs> Probably Yob. There's just so much energy in it. Anytime they add a Y to something where it's renty and to make an adjective, <laughs> that kills me. I know better than to repeat what they say on the show. Probably Bukake, because I never heard of that before. <laughs> Fupa. Fupa. Do you want me to translate? Yeah, sure. Fat upper pussy area. Okay. <laughs> Gun's just pretty. It is pretty horrifying. So yeah, <laughs> I have to say gun. Definitely gun. Ooh, probably gun. Probably gun. 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 Oh, my wife's gonna kill me. I say gun is the only new word that I can think of. Probably gun. Um, I don't think I've learned any new words from watching the show. I think you are a lucky man. <laughs> um, Company Heroes. Odin Sphere. Uncharted. Heck. Oh, definitely Uncharted. Professor Layton. Layton, I think. <laughs> I wouldn't have played Secret of Monkey, Monkey Island. Cracked out. Layton. Probably Professor Layton. Probably Professor Layton. Had it not been, you know, recommended. Uh, Psychonauts, The World Ends With You, Rocket Slime. Definitely Uncharted. That game is so good. And uh, I wouldn't have gone to PAX, and I wouldn't have played Fallout 3. Raid, Nyx Quest, Katamari, Damacy, Shadow of the Colossus, I mean, they're a lot. Definitely Rocket Slime. Probably Straight Fighter 4. Four. <laughs> Assassin's Creed, even though they hated it. I actually stole my sister's DS for it a little bit, but it was the world ends with you. 
uh, Cold Step Saga yeah. and uh, Company Heroes. It actually wasn't recommended. I just saw the Kickle Night thing and I played it and I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> Left 4 Dead 2 because it's more badass than it was before. Blinter Cell Conviction because Sam Fisher's awesome. <laughs> Scribble Knots, I love that game. By default, I'm required to say StarCraft 2. I'm probably gonna have to say Bayonetta. Through the legend, probably. Uh, I really liked uh, ODST because I'm a Halo fanboy. I'm gonna go with Borderlands because it's awesome. Yeah. Diablo 3 lived up to all expectations and Brink is looking pretty good. Uh, Scribble Knots. Because it's the most creative game, and I just, I'm gonna, I already anticipate hours of fun. Like. Dragon Age Origins. Probably Uncharted 2, just, it was hands it's down. Awesome. It's awesome yeah. right there. They're either Left 4 Dead 2 or Mass Effect 2. They're both amazing. Probably Brink, just because it was unexpected. Everything else I saw, I knew I wanted to see. Brutal Legend, just because the, the total package was fantastic. It reminded me a lot of, uh, like, God of War meets the Bard's Tale. Uh, mm. and it was, Cool. Yeah, the best game I actually saw and didn't play would have to have been Brink. I was very surprised by it. it was, I like the combination of shooter and RPG. Left 4 Dead 2. I'm not really into this kind of game, but after actually playing it, I was just uh, Probably Brink. Uh, I heard nothing about it and it surprised me, so mm. it's good. Dark Void was really good. Uh, best game I saw, probably Brink, because it was unexpected. Best game I played, Dark Side, because it confirms how awesome it is from last year. I think it was Scribble Knots because it plays to Cripple create to Cripple Knots. <laughs> iPad, but I don't know that it's a really a game because you don't really do anything other than play with the little feature. Probably Diablo 3. It was just so streamlined and visceral and very gory but good. It just felt really, really polished. I would have to say Elemental Runes of Magic for me. Um, PC was pretty lacking except for that game, so it was really cool to see that. I would like a new tube uh, booth, actually. You know, give prizes, introduce more people to the show, have fun like that. Take over a little more of uh, PAX. Get ourselves noticed and uh, respected as an authority. We need to get thrown out of a few more places, I think. We didn't cause enough trouble. More people, definitely. More people. I don't know, man. We need to overflow some rooms. We need like 200 people next year. Yeah. Epic cage match tournament. Uh, if they do the button thing again with the buttons, we should pool them all so that we get first prize. Try and get everybody in the same hotel or really close so that we can just have crazy room wars. And... A panel would be great. <laughs> yeah. Something that just takes about an hour. They, that's all they really need to contribute to. Yeah. You know, kind of sells the community. More coordination, more noise, more fun, <laughs> more yowing. Even more spontaneous tournaments appearing all over the place during the events. Beat the shit out of this place. <laughs> the living shit out of this place. Maybe do just some more organized events where we all crash a booth or something and get the whole thing taken over. Uh, I felt like outside of the free play rooms were kind of spread out a little bit. Shave top hat's head. Shave two people's heads. Shave some eyebrows. Leave a permanent scar on a staff member or uh, <laughs> leave a permanent scar on their brain. Our staff or their staff? Yes. Shit. What would you like to see Nuke do next year that we didn't do this year? Bearing in mind that he's basically responsible for everything that happens. <laughs> what I'd like to do, uh, definitely, definitely learn from this year, um, just organizational wise. Um, now I know how everything works and um, hopefully get you know more people in the Nubathon, make it run smoother, make sure that you know everything is a little more clockwork because a lot of stuff was off the cuff. Um, just make it bigger and better. Off the tank. Um, off off, the tank. Yeah, everything's off the tank off this the year. Tank. But uh, <laughs> yeah, more events for us, as well as keeping a balance. Just making sure that everyone has a good fun, good fun time. Um, but yeah, just definitely improve on uh, having that balance and improve on the events we had just within YouTube itself. Random hookups. Like everybody, <laughs> everybody gets a number or whatever, and we like draw like it. We just had a proposal, so I don't know. <laughs> 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 New two we, we need we need to look those two up, you know. We've got space, we can do it. Yeah, we you know, get a set of marquee and you know get one of us done as a priest. <laughs> cool shit. Are you volunteering? Yes I am. Awesome. We're going here today. Toga party, right? <laughs> Again, that's panic bro. That's the best fucking answer ever, swoops. Holy shit. Yo! Yeah! Yo! Yo! Went to the cat.
Yo! 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 There's someone behind me, so I can't yell right now. <laughs> yo! Yeah! Oh yeah! Fuck yeah! Yo! 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 Give us your best Muppet. <laughs> Muppet. Muppet. You know the best thing about this interview? It's over. <laughs> oh my god. Is my camera heavy for you? <laughs> <laughs> it's a heavy camera. <laughs>